This is what it looks like to fly all the way up to the top, by the way. Whee! It's tough work laying pipe all the time. Don't talk to me or my turbo motors ever again. I like to think of it not as pollution, but as decorating the atmosphere. You guys saw the title and the thumbnail. You know what today is. That's right, it's the plant tour. So starting here, these are my favorite types of plants. Uh, starting on the left, I've ranked them in order of least to best digestible. Oh wait, you mean not that kind of plant? Oh, like a power plant? Oh, like this giant thing that I just built? Oh, this my friends is the turbo plant. And turbo stands for turn it up. Really beneficial oils plant because it all comes from crude oil you see today I'm just gonna focus on this one refinery and power plant show you guys how I built it how it's running all the products that we're getting and all the inputs and whatnot uh, I'm pretty proud of this thing it's probably the biggest thing that I've built in this game uh, in general especially on this file the only thing that might compare is the uh, previous power plant that I made right over there um, check out that episode if you want to. That is my previous power plant, but now, oh, we've reached much greater heights, <laughs> quite literally. So as you enter the oil field area, this is actually the first refinery I built. Uh, these set here and uh, I actually dismantled some of the stuff here to make it simple because I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of it um, Don't think I need it anymore It's always good to have extra power, but I don't want to have things just loosely laid out like this, you know Kind of haphazard and whatnot So first things first as you enter the plant You'll see that there's actually a large open-air refinery attached to this plant of course, you know that I love hypertubes, so right here near the entrance, there's a hypertube cannon pointed directly up. Well, almost directly, but it works and it allows you to get an aerial view or to scale all the way to the top of the towers if you desire. Just like that. So, I just wanted to show you guys from up top. So, these are the refineries. This is the building where the blending and further refining goes on. Refining? Refining? And finally, everything's pumped uh, through this tower down these fuel generators. As you can see here at the plant, we produce plenty of petroleum products. You know, they'll please your pretty pickles and uh, your friends. Enjoy them. Plentiful, priestly products. So we get fabric, plastic, rubber, as well as some packaged fuel and turbo fuel, because why not? I love how this place looks at night though. The towers are like glowing. I also have this little catwalk here, which allows me to come and monitor these. There's also a catwalk that leads in between them right here. You can hear the hum of these engines running. Every single one of these fuel generators is overclocked to the max. Okay guys, here's where it all starts. It doesn't look like much, but it, this is the beginning, the oil node right here. Actually, it's bothering me now that this is not coated concrete. I've been trying to go around and make all the concrete in the entire map, basically, or the entire plant, rather. Um, all coated concrete, it's been taking so long. It's a good, like, turn your brain off activity, though. Oil is pumped up from there through this pipeline right here. Over to the first chain of refineries. Might as well give you guys the whole rundown and the chain of events. So the next step with these refineries turns the oil into oil residue as well as some polymer resin. Does a little resin never hurt anyone? Slurp that up. Now. I'm using it over here for additional products. This is where I'm actually refining the plastic rubber and fiber 
or uh, whatever it's called, fabric. I also really love looking at these conveyor belts. Well, they're quite nice, but not as nice as these pipes, which I spent a little bit of time on making them look all neat. And you can see that they're pumping over to these blenders. Up there are the refineries, quite a lot of them. Basically, there's a busted recipe in this game called, uh, I think it's diluted fuel or something. Uh, mix this heavy oil residue with water, where these water generators are over here. I've got a grate and uh, pipes coming up through the grate. Water generators down here. That's going to mix with this heavy oil residue. Products of that extra refining step over there are, will be shipped over here and uh, excess will be crunched up into this little hungry man. So that means it's time to show you the actual production plant where we start the process of blending. So here's the welcome center. Um, this area is free from PPE requirements, but uh, if you go over here up the stairs, uh, you're gonna need some PPA. PPE, that is personal protective equipment. Your hard hats, your steel-toed boots, your gloves, your safety glasses, you're gonna need all that because um, there's some unshielded machinery going on up there. So here at the Welcome Center, I have the central power switch. This should power all the switch, all of the machines in this building and outside for this whole plant. Over here, I've got all the information about what actually goes on in the plant. And I can uh, basically run down all the numbers, but yeah. As I mentioned, we get crude oil, 300 per minute. That goes to the first set of refineries that we already covered. That gives 400 per minute of the heavy oil residue. Uh, it also, as a byproduct, gives me some of this polymer resin, which goes to the resin refineries, yada yada. Um, the oil residue, though, goes to the blenders, which is also blended with the water to make 800 fuel per minute. That goes to 36 refineries, producing a, quite an ominous 666 meters cubed per minute of turbo fuel, which requires, of course, compacted coal. Oh, it's a whole thing, isn't it? This this pro this project, by the way, I've been working on this for days and days, but it's been a lot of fun. Um, so I'm shipping compacted coal way way over where I actually should probably show you that. Um, and that's part used in the refining process to make the turbo fuel yada yada it goes to 60 overclock generators 20 gigawatts is what we get and a lot of excess stuff um, so yeah it's a great it's a great plant uh, it was not functioning earlier today but I found out what went wrong uh, it turned out one of the excess splitters was not working one of the smart splitters in the excess area so the uh, place got filled with plastic and then uh, the refinery had to stop it was unfortunate over here is where I'm packaging up the fuel and um, basically I have excess of both types of fuel so I might as well okay smegma males let's go we got our PPE on up here we got blenders So we got eight blenders as I talked about earlier. I got the pipework neatly pressed above. And I can climb up here and get a nice overhead view of what this room looks like. And uh, on the side you can see these are the output pipes of fuel. There's some fuel and there's some fuel. And they're going up through the ceiling. Wow, I got an autosave while I was in the hypertube. Oh god. As you can see, I'm building some intensely awesome floating railways going through the city. Got a little Y junction there in the air. Yeah, you remember the Schmelko power plant? Look at this little guy. This was my first ever automated automatic power plant. It's still running. I mean, I feel like it's only producing a couple gigawatts or maybe even not even that but way over here I actually have my new set of compacted coal constructors 
So this is actually the only sulfur node I've ever used in this game. So I tapped that sulfur over here. It goes quite a distance, but uh, I've got all Mark III miners now. So I'm getting excess coal, and the excess coal is being shipped over here to make the compacted coal. And then that goes on quite a long conveyor journey all the way through here. And it joins these other coal conveyors on the side of the bridge. You could probably just sit here and vibe ride the conveyor. Actually, no, because it goes underground. So here where they go underground, you can uh, sneak right back here and, and go under to follow the conveyor route. Whee! I love how you can just fly sliding on the conveyors. Anyway, that gets all the way over here to the coal yard. From the coal yard, past the aluminum refinery, and there it is. The long journey to the power plant. The coal takes a long journey to make its way for winter to the power plant where it will survive. I love going crazy with these frames as you can see. Just looks like a provides some structural support and makes a nice industrial feel. Anyway, finally, okay, where were we? We are going up to the next floor. Up here, you can see that I've got some fluid storage tanks and I wonder what the purpose for that would be. Well, I've got a really weird fluid delivery system going on in this place. Uh, one that I just felt like doing that's probably not even necessarily any more efficient or better, but gosh dang it, it's cool. Look at all these pipes. Oh, there's more you see. <laughs> I they're not exactly perfectly neat, but you know, I did I did my best. So these floors basically begin the set of turbo fuel refineries. So all these are receiving some of these compacted coals and they're all receiving fuel from the blenders down below. But where do the blenders actually pump the fuel? Is it straight into the refineries? Oh well, no, as you see, this is where the output was. And it's just going straight up. Oh, why could that be? Let's go up one more floor, see if we can gain any new information. Uh, so we got, yeah, more refineries. More pipage. Dude, I've been laying pipe for fucking days. You guys don't even know. It's tough work laying pipe all the time. People act like it's easy or fun. I mean, you gotta deal with all the responsibilities and... Okay, anyway, I went up to the next floor. As you can see, this is the final refinery floor. Up there is the ceiling. And we got some large fluid tanks on there. But we actually can go up there. I made a little ladder. Uh, it's service. You need your PPE. Once again, don't forget work safety. OSHA, don't come for me. Anyway, now that I'm at the top, you can see... I'm gonna need some clearance to get into this room because this is the pump elevator which takes the turbo fuel all the way to the top of the fuel generator towers so yes the the blenders actually blend fuel and pump it all the way to the roof up here before it falls down and through the power of gravity through the power of Einstein and Newton and all things gravity, it just flows through the refineries down to the next set of refineries. And like that in a zigzag pattern. So it goes down here again. Now, and then back around, back down to the next floor. Finally, all of the fuel will terminate in this one storage, which goes down stairs to be packaged so any excess fuel will be packaged and not wasted in theory well that's pretty cool it's an interesting idea about using gravity just f to flow the fuels down instead of pumping them to all the machines but how does that factor into the next pl uh, component which would be the turbo fuel well as you can see these refineries are all going producing turbo fuel which is to be shipped down this pipe down this pipe but why not up is up not the final destination yeah you already probably know so it goes all the way back down 
all the turbo fuel collects from all the three sets. The three floors of refineries all connect. Um, that's not supposed to be painted. Basically, from the from the floors above them, here comes the turbo fuel mixes again due to gravity with all the fuel from these flows all the way around into these two fluid tanks. And now these ones are equipped with pumps. So we can pump all that fluid all the way back up. Is it unnecessarily complicated? Yeah, probably. Did I do it anyway? Yeah. And you know what? It works. You motherfucker. Sorry, I'm fighting demons here. Anyway, f uh, finally the turbo fuel is pumped up. It goes up there to the turbo fuel tanks. You wouldn't believe it. They hold turbo fuel. But this is the final storage. This is the final holding place of this fuel. There's a final respite that it will ever know before it is burned, explosively combusted in the combustion chambers of these fuel generators, producing countless particulate matters, volatile organic compounds, nitrogen oxides, the whole nine yards. I like to think of it not as pollution, but as decorating the atmosphere. On the roof here, I also have a big battery that just stores some extra power that I've produced from the fuel generators, of course. So inside the tower here, there's actually a giant ladder. Uh, I could climb that, but it's pretty slow. It's a very, very long way up, as you can see. Yeah, fuck it, I'm being thorough. And I hate myself, so I might as well punish myself a little bit. As you can see, I got pumps at an even interval, making sure that I'm pumping the fluid up nice and steady. You guys have no idea how long it took for me to build all this shit. But I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I love this game. Anyway, you have to step on this uh, frame. It's a little sketchy. That's why you need tier 2 clearance. Okay, it looks like we're reaching the top finally. Yeah, earlier I also had an issue with my pumps not working. But I figured out it was an error with um, my pipelines because I tried to make them look fancy, basically. And for some reason there was a glitch or something with how I put them uh, with a wall pump hole. So yeah, as you can see, we're very, very near the top of the fuel generator towers. There's actually a ladder here where I can get a wonderful view of the whole world, essentially. Look at that, I can zoom in. And you can imagine, oh, actually, yeah, that's the train spiral I built a couple episodes ago. There's a Schmelko plant. So yeah, if I had a, there's actually my radar tower way over there. So if I had some real tall buildings, you'd be able to see that. Wow, I love this game. And you also get a nice view of sport construction. Look at that. Some of my previous tallest buildings just look like ants from this. <laughs> even the, even the space elevator. Well, I mean, that just goes to space, but you know what I mean. So I can actually walk on these pipes over here to show you guys. These are the generators. I made a blueprint for each one of these, obviously, but I had to manually hook up all the power because I neglected to do the power for the blueprint, so that was kind of annoying. This is what the inside of the blueprint looks like. Each one has a little ladder, which I always appreciated of this game. So basically, the fuel gets pumped over here, there's a valve to make sure there's no backflow, but it's sent up slightly down two towers of pipes. Basically the way it ended up working in practice was uh, the pipes filled up from the bottom all the way to the top, and as they filled up, all these generators started powering on. And then I repeated that same thing over here. So there's four total towers of generators. As you can see, all of them are running. Each one of them's overclocked completely, 250%, producing 375 megawatts. Yeah, never mind. It's running fine. It, there was just some issues earlier because I was, so I had to restart it, and now it's still starting up. It takes hours to start up, honestly. 
It, I was like worried that it wasn't bouncing, but it just takes that long. So for a while I was only generating a couple gigawatts and then slowly but surely I climbed up to the production that I'm at now, which as you can see is again double my max consumption, more than double. So every time I make a power plant I end up with more than double my max consumption. But yeah, this this puppy produces about 20 gigawatts all in total. And up here I'm so high up that I can barely even see anything. So to wrap it all up, why don't I just go ahead and begin the ceremonial disassembly of this old refinery, starting with the shutting off of this crude oil node. This is what it looks like to fly all the way up to the top, by the way. Whee! I got some frames. You can never have enough frames. And look at that. Beautiful. Four colossal towers of fuel generators. Each running beautifully. <sighs> it is satisfactory. Oh, goodbye, ye old refinery. You've served me well. Before I had big refinery. Honestly, though, this thing barely actually produces any uh, plastic and rubber, so I know I'm going to need it for construction later on a larger scale, so I'm probably going to have to make a rubber refinery. I just want to get rid of this because it's a little too uggo for my tastes. It's making this refinery look ugly just by it being nearby, quite frankly. Obviously, this is going to marginally reduce my power output, but that's fine. Because we're going nuclear soon, baby. As far as I'm concerned, i got to speed run this game before uh, 1.0 comes out. Because uh, then I'm going to do it all over again. Okay, I've quietly gone into big destroy mode, and I'm almost there. And just like that, it is no more. What's my power output now? Still 33,000 megawatts, so we're fine. Now I need to make all this coated concrete. That's going to take me a hot minute. So yeah, guys, from now on, the dooming tower of the turbo plant shall be watching over us. It's pretty funny that I, I noticed, like, noticeably there was an FPS drop when I turned this thing on for the first time and when everything is, like, started running and now it feels like there's a slight FPS drop when I'm, like, in the area and when it's all loaded in. But yeah, here at the central station, check out this sick, uh, train spiral that I made. Now this spiral actually has two rails, so I don't need two spirals like I do have in the other section of the world. I even have signals on it. It's beautiful. And this is what the skyline currently looks like. As you can see, it's still a pretty spread out city. Ooh, I got a train station thing going on over there, as you can see. I'm doing some work with uh, roundabouts. But I was thinking about making this train path go over here to meet up with the turbo plant and the saddest plant, of course. But yeah, that's the thing about uh, fuel generators in this game is that they they just use up like so much space and so little fuel. And so you need so many of them. Uh, like it's crazy that all of this is from 300 crude oil. Meanwhile, over here, there's probably, you know, thousands of crude oil and all the nodes combined just think about a fully fully uh, developed area that would be crazy of course I am using all those alternates which increase your output a lot if you didn't do that then you wouldn't have so many fuel generators but imagine if I didn't overclock them all there would be like three times as many it would be going to freaking Zeus so yeah my previous strategy obviously was to lay them all flat but this time I wanted to make big tower. Happy to say that it all worked out. And I, I do love it. I do love it. The aluminum refinery is still running perfectly good. Although I need to set up something to uh, craft the aluminum ingots into 
alcads and whatnot. I'm going to try to use this colossal boost in power to help me produce nuclear energy soon. Then, you know what's coming. Phase 4, baby. We're going to wrap this thing up. I've already been producing some of the parts for particle enrichment. So let's see, I think I have all the cooling systems I need. I've also got all the fused frames, nice. Oh yeah, okay. There we go. You know what that means, gamers. That's all we're missing. Although, 100 turbo motors is a, indeed a very tall order. So I'll tell you what, gamers and gamettes, next time you see me, I'll have 100 turbo motors. Bet on it. But I hope either way you've enjoyed this uh, power plant tour. Again, this took me quite a while. Oh, let me show you actually the blueprint before we go. So yeah, I sing so much praise about blueprints when I started this playthrough. And I still love them, but there's something really satisfying about hand building stuff too. So I actually used a mix. Most of the stuff in that factory is uh, hand built, but the towers are built using blueprints. Of course, I had to go in and connect everything. That took a very long time. Okay, yeah, this is the fuel tower blueprint. I built it off that fuel tower hexagon that I actually used in the Satis plant. As you can see, it's actually just kind of a awkward pipe. And every time I place one of these, I actually had to end up building up one more layer of wall here and I can't do it in the blueprint as you can see it doesn't fit but it just makes it look better because the fuel generator exhaust is kind of clipping here so yeah I have holes on the side here for exhaust I have lights uh, hooked up to the power got some nice glass so you can see yeah this is actually two uh, sets of few full frame windows to give it the th you know third of a window effect I'm gonna have to start thinking about my plan for phase four soon. Uh, drones? Trains? Hmm, both? Just wanted to say thank you again for all the support on the Satisfactory series. Exceeding 100 subscribers is pretty nutty. That is like one of the goals that I set for myself. And look at this waterfall thing I built here. I made the bridge. Ooh, yeah. As you can see, I made the supports go down into the waterfall and it fl it, the train goes right by the Schmelko plant. Up here to a new little thing I've built. But I hope you guys all have a great afternoon, morning, or evening wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Peace! Ah! <coughs> oh, oh no. Shit. I don't think my insurance is going to pay for that. Okay, I said I was leaving till the next episode, but I just need to share this moment with you guys. Uh, I've been making some turbos. As you can see, I just wanted to appreciate them for a moment. Oh god, there's too many of them. I had to change the belt and they're still... No! Uh, change it again. <laughs> no, it's like a balloons map. Oh, I think that finally did it. Oh, look at them snake around like a little turbo snake. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me just grab some of these and then uh, let's see what I need. 57. Bring it right up here. Oh, that's a go. That needs correction. Okay. And just like that, guys. Until 1.0 comes out, that is the last milestone in the game oh. don't talk to me or my turbo motors ever again so yeah city planners if you need an autistic satisfactory player to design your next city uh, hit me up I got plenty of free time when I'm not working full-time or playing satisfactory on all my free hours